Hi guys, welcome back to About Archie. Of course, I am Archie, and welcome back subscribers and subscribers-to-be. Now, if you've been trying to get the lighting on your Wraith Prism cooler uh, that may have come with your Ryzen CPU, if you're trying to get that to light up and you're getting a window that comes up and says, please plug in your CM device, and you're going, what's happening, man? My CM device is plugged in. I've got the solution. So stick around, I'll give it to you in about three seconds. Okay, please plug in your CM device. What's happening, man? My CM device is plugged in. I took the cable coming off the off the prism and nicely plugged it in right where it says to plug it into the CPU header. It's not working. Well, if you've gone online, and I just want to say that um, there is someone I want to give some credit to. In fact, there's a couple of people I want to give credit to because why I'm doing this video is I got part of the information I needed on, on one video and part of the information I needed from another source from a cool master uh, individual who helped me out. It was only putting those two things together that I actually came to the solution that I needed. And so I'm gonna to try to put those two things together, those several things together, in fact, in this one video and hopefully save you running around the, the interweb all over the place looking for the answer. Now the first guy, I believe his name is Zach Everly, put together an excellent short video on how to solve this problem. There was a key piece of information that I, in my particular case, needed that was missing from that. Uh, it may have only been me, but if you're like me, I'm going to give you that piece of information. Now, the second source of information was from somebody at Coolmaster who sent me a link to Zach Everly's uh, video, as well as a link to a couple of uh, threads. One of the threads had a diagram and that diagram was instrumental in solving the problem for me. So let me tell you what the solution to the problem is. Okay, so there's one cable coming off the Wraith Prism when you get it. There is a second cable you need to be using. Now, if you get a little confused like I did because you didn't see any second cable, you will, like me, realize that, oh yeah, I think I saw a couple in the very bottom of the box, a couple of extra cables, wondered what those were for dig out those cables. There's two cables there. Do not use both cables. Only use one. You use both cables, it'll give you a whole other set of problems as people in the forums have discussed uh, over and over again. Use only the one that says on the one end, it should be stamped USB connector. USB. It'll say USB right on it. Use that one. Now, in Zach's video, he wasn't, uh, at least in my mind, wasn't quite clear where he, he expressed that you have to plug in this second connector. It has to go into a USB um, uh, connector on your motherboard that's, uh, in my case, uh, I have a, a Rogue Strix uh, X570, uh, plugs in near the bottom of the uh, motherboard. So that was all good, but where did the other end of this thing go? And obviously into the Wraith Prism somewhere, but it appears appeared to me like it was it had to go in this very awkward place that it was going to involve me uh, dismounting the prism and and uh, just new thermal paste it was going to be a nightmare so i needed to know if i actually had to go to all that trouble if not where did the other end of that cable go and that's where the my my uh, savior from coolmaster sent this diagram and on the diagram i could see that there was actually two spots two little connectors, uh, places to plug in your cable, right on the cowling the f that goes around the fan section. There were two of them. Now, again, as I said, don't use those two cables. Don't plug them both in. Just find the one that says USB. Facing the fan, there is a, um, they're kind of disguised, so you have to look a little bit, but they are on the, 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 the rear edge of the cowling, um, the outside, not the back, but, um, but there's a sort of a forward and backwards section of that edge, slightly to the back, and they're plugged up to protect them. They're plugged up with two little rubber stoppers. 
Okay, so facing the fan, there's one on the right, one on the left. I think I couldn't see it well enough because it's mounted in the case, but I think the one on the right might be a small four pin, the one on the left, a small three pin. So that's where the other end of this USB connector should plug in. So uh, plug that connector in, the small, uh, the small three pin in, on, on the cowling of the uh, prism. The other one goes into a USB port, a Type 2, I believe it is. I don't know. I think I've read that people had issues trying to use a Type 3, uh, Type 2 uh, USB uh, port and uh, connector. And, uh, and um, uh, there you go. And uh, give it a try. Give it a test. In my case, and I think everyone else's case that I've read about, that was the fix. It lit up uh, the, uh, the Cool Master next time I uh, flashed up the Cool Master software. It didn't stop at this window that said, please plug in your CM device. It went straight to the software. Uh, you're able to configure three areas, which is awesome. You get to configure the color of the ring around the fan. You get to configure the color of the fan. You even get to configure the color of the logo. Uh, once I figured this all out, I was a happy camper. Um, I hope this saves you guys tons of pain and grief and uh, makes your day better. And uh, for me, this was the last little thing I had to do other than uh, downloading a lot of software and some drivers. Uh, this was the thing that, uh, that finalized my build. I uh, hope you guys are all having a great day. i got a whole bunch of good stuff in store, uh, plans for, um, as you know, I may know I've done a series on the uh, uh, Notion software that's turned out to be uh, uh, much appreciated by a lot of people just starting uh, with Notion, uh, another great app. I did a 16, I believe a 16 part uh, video, all small chunks uh, that will help you get started. You can either watch the whole thing or Go right after the particular thing you need. I have some more great stuff lined up. Please subscribe. Give me a shot at keeping you entertained and getting edu you educated and solving some problems. Hope you guys are having a wonderful time in these weird uh, times. And we will see you in the next video. Don't forget, please subscribe. Give me a shot and ring the bell. you got to ring the bell, man. That's what brings you the good karma. See you in the next video, guys. Thanks.